Our last image, with the final gather bounces set to 3, is a much better solution than the original version of our rendering, where the final gather bounces were set to 0. The question is, can we make this more efficient? Even though our quality has increased, what can we do to make the rendering look better? Click on the Application button, Open, and in the Chapter 5 directory, inside of our Scenes directory, select the file called Chapter 5 Interior Portal 01.max. Let's think about the daylight system that we're using to illuminate our scene. It consists of two light sources, the sun and the sky. The sun provides the direct light that beams through the window and casts the direct shadows. The sky is a 360 degree spherical body of illumination that provides the scattered light that we see in our scene. The biggest problem with the final gather rendering that we currently have is that so much of the final gather energy is wasted outside the room. I'll use the analogy of a water hose and a wall with a small hole in the wall. If you hold the spray nozzle about 10 feet from the wall and you spray with a wide spray pattern, you're only going to get a small percentage of that water through the hole in the wall and onto the other side. This is what's happening currently when we render our scene with Final Gather. Now imagine if you took the hose and you put the nozzle inside the hole in the wall, then turn the water on. Now all of the water will be going through the hole and coming out the other side. We're going to use the Mental Ray Sky Portal to accomplish the same task with the global illumination coming from the daylight system. This way, Final Gather doesn't have to calculate the sun in the sky anywhere outside of this room, and it can focus all the energy from the daylight system into the room to calculate the Final Gather solution. The scene is already set up with a sky portal in the window frame, ready to be used. The way we can access it is go into the Tools menu, and in the Tools drop-down, click the Light Lister option. You'll see toward the bottom of the Light Lister that we have a sky portal already in our scene. It's sized to fit exactly in the window opening just outside the window. Click the On option to turn the sky portal on. Let's take a look at the parameters for the sky portal. Click over to the Modify panel on the Command panel. In the Light Lister, click on the Selection button to the left of the Mental Ray Sky Portal to select the light. We're going to look at two rollouts, the Mental Ray Skylight Portal parameters and the Advanced parameters. In the Mental Ray Sky Portal parameters, the first option is whether or not the portal is on or off and how bright the light is coming from the portal. The filter color allows you to, in effect, place a color gel in front of the portal. Below that is the shadow area, where you can turn on or off the shadows that are cast from the light. If you want objects outside the window to cast a shadow through the portal, turn on the From Outdoors option. Be careful using this option. It can increase render time dramatically. The Shadow Samples allows you to change the quality of the shadow generated by the light. The Dimensions area lets you set the size of the light object itself. The Flip Light Flux Direction allows you to change the direction of the light without rotating the light object. In the Advanced Parameters rollout, there are options for the visibility and the source of the light. The Visible to Render option will make the Mental Ray Sky Portal visible when rendering the scene. This can be used to your advantage if the sky outside the window is too bright and being overexposed. Click the Visible to Render checkbox. In order to be able to see the environment through the window, we need to reduce the brightness of the visible light. Think of this as adding a layer of window tint film to the visible portal. Click the Transparency Color option. In the Color Selector, set the value to 0 0.02 and click OK to accept the color change. The color source area allows you to change how the portal generates the light emitted. Currently, 
the Use Existing Skylight option is selected. If you want to use alternate sources, you can select either the scene environment or use a custom shader that can turn the portal light into a true area light. To see the effect of the mental ray portal light, click Render in the Render Frame window. The final gather solution will be brighter yet because almost 100% of the daylight system's energy that's coming through the window is being directed into the room. This energy is not being wasted by bouncing off outside walls of the building and being calculated in areas where no building exists. Also notice that our scene looks considerably bluer and that we can see the sky outside the window. The reason for this is that the sky portal is focusing the energy of the skylight that is part of the daylight system and we've set the transparency to a very low value. That skylight is getting its color from the mental ray physical sky environment map. In this case, because of the time of day, there's considerably more blue in the environment than any other color. 